Mm -hmm. Oh, already I can smell the peppermint in it and it's so nice. It always take a minute, you know, just to situate. You gotta really get comfy. If you're gonna face mask and chill, you gotta make sure you're all comfy and settled. Hey guys, I'm Katherine McNamara and this is Masked and Answered with Marie Claire, where I am going to face mask and chill with you all and answer some beauty and skincare questions. I've got my mask and I've got my coffee. Let's do it. So this is my absolute favorite sheet mask. I'm new to sheet masks. This one, it's called The Good Fight from Hatchology. But I love it because it, it always makes my skin feel so refreshed. And it's just sort of a reset when you feel like you wanna treat yourself a little bit. What kind of music do you listen to when you're masking or getting ready? Depending on my mood. If I'm more chill, I might listen to a podcast or an audiobook or something. Uh, but if I wanna start the party, I'll, uh, I'll listen to some music. I actually just created a social distancing dance party playlist on Spotify, so check that out if you want to have a little dance party by yourself or with your social distancing buddies or even over FaceTime with family and friends. What is your favorite at-home beauty skincare ritual? You're looking at it, babe. Cup of coffee, a nice conversation, maybe some Netflix, some music, a podcast, and a face mask. It's just, it's something I do every couple of weeks at the very least, just to sort of refresh my skin and reset and unwind. Do you have problems with acne and what is your zip fighting routine? You know, occasionally my skin just doesn't behave because I wear a lot of makeup at work and often the kind of projects I'm doing <laughs> involve fighting and sweating in said makeup and that just doesn't make for happy skin all the time. It's not always recommended, but occasionally for those really tough ones, I'll put a little bit of cortisone cream on it before I go to bed, just the over-the-counter hydrocortisone cream because it tends to calm the redness and just sort of calm everything down. What is your favorite beauty habit after a long day? Believe it or not, it's the simplest thing. Take off my makeup and take care of my skin. It's my little bit of me time to unwind at the end of the day. It's really lovely and it's something you can do for yourself to just take care and check in. Are you a skincare, makeup, or hair person? What's your thing? My thing is definitely makeup. Must ask you a question, little face mask. Why do you keep falling down? <laughs> I am definitely a makeup junkie. I love playing with makeup, and I think that comes from being an actor. You know, makeup can be so transformative. Kind of make a statement and, and say something about your personality and about what you want to express to the world and about what you think about yourself. What is the craziest beauty treatment you've ever done? If I had to pick, I guess, does laser hair removal count? I'm not sure if it's crazy, but it's definitely effective. What are your go-to health and wellness practices? Work out, drink water, eat clean, and take the recommended supplements. Even just a general multivitamin is generally a good idea. What is your nighttime skincare routine? All right, you guys ready for this? Okay, I'm gonna take a drink coffee. First of all, I use just a general drugstore makeup wipe to take the first layer off my skin, and then I really get into it. This Tatcha Camellia oil, it takes off that kind of second layer and really nourishes your skin as it cleanses. And it's great for taking off eye makeup as well without having to really scrub your eyelashes off. Next thing I do, this has been my holy grail skin cleanser. My grandmother uses this and she's always had wonderful skin. So I took it in her stead because she was the first person to teach me about makeup and about skincare. Uh, it's their Milky Cleanser. And it's so lovely because it refreshes your skin and it moisturizes and it really, really does take off makeup and leave your skin clean, which is so important. It's the rice polish from Tatcha. It's wonderful. You put a little bit in your hand, it's sort of this granulated powder and it serves as a little light exfoliant as well as a cleanser. And it, it sort of takes the top layer off your skin and, and leaves it so, clear and fresh. I do this a couple times a week because it's kind of rough on your skin, or at least on my skin. This is a Clarisonic. It's a little motorized brush that really gets in your pores and cleans everything out. And I just take a little bit of soap and lather up and use that to sort of let it glide over my skin and, and clean everything away. After that, I'll take a little bit of my peony eye cream and my moisturizer and refresh my skin and off I go. When do you feel the most beautiful? 
I would say I feel most beautiful when I have a little bit of a tan, my freckles are in full force, a little bit of mascara. I'm just laughing and having a good time with the people that I love. When you feel genuine joy on the inside, that's when I tend to feel the most at peace and at home in my own skin. Oh, it must be almost time to take this off because I'm starting to look a bit like Santa Claus. <laughs> Rapid fire, here we go. What is your favorite moisturizer? You're looking at it, Clinique Moisturizing Gel. Amazing. Your go-to facialist or esthetician? My grandmother or my dermatologist? All-time favorite SPF? Neutrogena oil-free anything. I usually go for higher SPF because I am quite pale, but their whole line is amazing and goes great under makeup and doesn't mess up your skin. Lip balm or lip gloss? Lip balm during the day and lip gloss at night. Tinted moisturizer or foundation? Foundation for work. And normally during the day, I just wear a tinted moisturizer. I love the IG Cosmetics CC Cream. Oh, it's so nice. Dry, oily, or combination skin? Combination. Favorite beauty or wellness supplement? I would say just straight up biotin. I started taking it a few years ago for, for other reasons, but it, it stuns wonders for my hair, my nails, my skin. Lightweight or heavy moisturizer? This one from Tatcha. It's called the Water Cream. Skin care minimalist or maximalist? Um, I think I would have to say I am a skincare minimalist that is learning and slowly turning into a maximalist. I'm finding that if you have really good products and figure out what works for your skin, it can be so refreshing and such a, a wonderful moment of self-care. If you can take just a couple minutes for yourself every day, just take care of your skin. It's, you know, for me, I, I'm the same way with fitness. If I can take a little bit of time out of my day to do something good for my body, whether it's go for a run or go for a walk or hike or go to the gym for an hour or two, it resets my mind. And I think skincare is very much the same. Given the state of this mask, it's definitely time to take it off. Let's see. Ta-da! Oh, you guys, my skin feels so lovely. This is why I love this mask, because my skin feels cleansed, it feels refreshed, it feels moisturized, and just nourished in the best way. I, uh, I feel like I'm glowing from the inside out. It's got such a nice, fresh, clean scent to it as well. It just has a, a lovely cooling effect. And that's why I use this mask in particular. Uh, it, you know, whenever you wanna take a little me time and treat yourself and give your skin that little reset that it needs, Thank you so much for joining me and Marie Claire today for Masked and Answered. Now it's your turn to face mask and chill. Don't forget to subscribe to the Marie Claire YouTube channel and let us know in the comments below what your new favorite face mask is and why you love it so much. Thank you so much, be happy, be well, and have a lovely rest of your day.